Yeah. The, uh, there's lots of uh, programs on TV now that show you how to deal with uh, teenagers and children. Yes. And uh, when I grew up, we didn't have this, these um, uh, skills. Yeah, yeah, okay. But now, I think with my son, uh, there was a turning point one day where... Uh, a what? A turning, a turning point. point? Okay, okay. Uh, we, I always used to say to him, look, drugs are bad and uh, you should stay away from them. But he was going out all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, some, some of the times we were fighting quite uh, viciously with each other. And then my wife would be involved as well, and he mm -hmm. would get her on his side. Mm -hmm. Then I feel very powerless and angry, and I say, mm -hmm. well, you, you guys, I'll leave you two together. You can do what you like. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I always try to, to, to give him some good advice. I understand. Uh, but that one time, um, he went out, and I told him, look, I don't want you to go out. You're going out every night. I want you to stay in. Mm. You know, you can go out on the weekend, but not every day. Yeah. And uh, he went out the night. So I confiscated his computer. I took mm -hmm. it in my room and I locked it in there. Mm -hmm. And he came back and he said, I'm going to go in the room and get the computer. Mm -hmm. And I watched one of these programs the day before. Yes. And in there, the, uh, the trainer was teaching the teenager how not to get angry. The mm -hmm. trainer was in the, the, the boxing ring with the, the teenager. Mm -hmm. And he said to the teenager, I'm going to swear at you. I'm going to wind you up. But if you hit me, then you've lost. Mm -hmm. So I used that technique on my son, mm -hmm. and whatever he said, I, I, he swore to me, he called me this and that, everything. Oh. But I said, look, I'm not going to get angry, I love you, but I'm not going to give you your computer back until you stop going out. Right. And then uh, he's, he said he'll see, so he was waiting at the door. And my friend used to come to meditate on, we on a Wednesday night, mm -hmm. and uh, he thought that I would be embarrassed and give in to him because uh -huh. my friend was there, because, you know, because of this. Yeah. Well, my friend came and I involved my friend. I said, look, I'm having an argument with my son Yusuf here. Mm. He's um, going out all the time, so I've confiscated his computer. Mm. So if you don't mind, we will meditate in the other room today. Mm -hmm. And because of that time, because he put so much energy when he was swearing to me and everything, I said, look, I've heard all that before, so I'm stupid, I'm so-and-so, I'm so-and-so. Mm -hmm. But I love you, but I'm not going to give you your computer back. Right, he doesn't deserve it. Uh, yeah, and then actually after I took... The morning, I took the computer to work and left it there for about two weeks. Mm -hmm. And that evening, because he, I didn't fight with him, mm -hmm. he couldn't involve his mother. She was on my side. And, then. and we were both say, uh, trying to help him. Mm -hmm. And really lovingly, I, I told him, I really just keep repeating that I love you to him. He said, I hate you, I said, but I love you. No, 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 and uh, actually, this was a, he lost a big load of power that day. Mm -hmm. I said, look, I... Actually, I give an advertisement for you. I said, look, I've been with the Supreme Master for 10 years. Mm. Don't you think I learned a few tricks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So what does he say? Uh, actually, after this time, uh, our relationship improved a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. I gave the computer back to him, but only after you know, a lot of testing. I understand. Uh, understand. And yeah. then uh, I helped him with his uh, study. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, the subjects he's studying, I also graduated in those ah, subjects. Cool. So we made a good relationship yeah? like that. Very and good. slowly building, slowly building. Yeah. And every day I'm seeing he's improving. Yeah, they are in a hard time, in a hard time of it, their life. Yeah, Teenage, you're the homeowner race, oh, that's yeah. terrible. Because they have a lot of bad influence around them, like you also. said, like other boys uh, they, 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 with the drugs and everything, and yeah. uh, the showing off. I and, know. And I, so I can see that he's with people who are very low level, He's forcing them to be his friend. They don't even want him, but I he's know. forcing himself there yeah, just to fit in. I know, I and, know. Uh, they do that all the time in the school. Yeah? Peer pressure. Yeah. Just to have to be cool, you know? Exactly. <laughs> Not just to wear the same, but have to act the same. Yeah. And if they drink, you have to drink. Otherwise, you don't get in. You know, they will make fun of you and all that. Just you have to make sure he doesn't have to go through all this suffering for nothing. Uh, tell, the, tell him the value is not by being cool, but, you know, being a good student and intelligent but the, and I, be independent. I, I got through to him a couple of times. I mean, one time I, uh, I got a call from an ambulance. He was lying in the road uh, after being vomiting and very drunk. And that day I brought him home. But I was really loving to him that whole time. I didn't, wasn't angry to him at all. Mm. I said, I want to wait till you get better. Then I want to beat you. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Be because uh, I, I know what it's like to be poisoned with alcohol like this. Oh, terrible. And uh, one time he was arrested by the pr police and he was, 
Uh, I was ill, so I couldn't get him. I didn't know where he was. Mm. So the following day, I, he was in the cell overnight. And that time I talked to him and I said, look, son, this is, can be your life if you want it to be. But uh, I think you can do better than this because you're a bright, intelligent boy. You have to ask him to write down what he wants to do with his life. <laughs> well, don't, don't tell him what he wants to do. But ask him yeah. what he wants to yeah. choose, yeah. what he wants to be, a kind of person that he wants to be. But this is all in the past now. Now yeah. he's turned the corner. That's good. He's, he's very focused on his study. He's meditating now. Wow, cool. And he's happy. He helps wow, him. Wow, what a guy. That's positive. From that and turn to that, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I was also initiated when I was quite young. And um, I also went through all, that, all the peer pressure, yeah. everything at school. I've done like most of the things that he was talking Understand. about. Understand. And then um, my life turned around. And then um, I did have meditation, and I knew he was always by my side. I knew he was also always in here with me. Then um, my life turned around, and I started meditating. And then it just everything in my life was just so amazing. Like when I was young, I wouldn't walk outside and like I would smile because the sun was out, mm -hmm. and I was like, I was just so overwhelmed that I had you with me. And I know that every day that you always be with me. Sure, every day. And I just wanted to let you know that. Um, I really appreciate everything you've done for me. So I love, I love doing that. And I love you. Thank you. I love you too. You're such so a good much. kid. <laughs> such a Thank good you. kid. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank yes. you so much for everything you've done. Oh, I understand you also, okay? I understand you guys and the teenager, you know? Very lonely outside. You think they have peers, they have, pe they have friends, but they're very lonely. You know, the, the ones who are not lonely are the aggressive ones. You know, the, the bully one in the school, like a, like a gang, you know, leader. And then they, they, they make every other kid do what they want. And then they pick on other kids, you know, like you're too fat, you're too skinny, they call your names and they make you feel like you are nothing, like you're worse, you know, you're the, the worst in the class and everything like that. They will make your life hell. So you, the parents, have to understand the kids have problem. You understand me? It's not to throw them in the school and then you have nothing. You have to understand their problem as well, yeah? And sometimes they even, they, they even gang together to harass one person, one kid. And, and then they come home, of course, they're depressed, yeah? And they don't know what to do. And they can't even tell their parents. Sometimes they can't pinpoint the problem. You understand me? They just feel bad. And they couldn't even tell you because they don't know how to express the things in school. Also, they feel powerless and they feel... Also embarrassed to even tell you, yeah? So if you're not a real buddy, they won't tell you their problem because of pride as well. You know, teenagers are more proud than all of us. Yeah, that is the time they develop their confidence. You understand? And all their friends, so-called buddy and classmates, just throw stones at them and of course they feel destroyed. Do you understand? So you have to be there for your children, huh? You already made a choice to be married. Yeah, to have children. So you have to be responsible. Yeah, you have to be there for your children. Understand me? Of course you meditate and all that, but you have to be there for your children. You have to know it's very difficult for them to grow up without the love of parents and family. That's very important for them to feel loved no matter what. They have to really feel it. Yeah? They have to really feel it. Otherwise, at, in the school they're burly. At home they don't feel wanted. You know, they don't feel cared for. Even if you scold them sometimes, they know you care. But if you just, you know, like ignore them, don't even scold, okay, do what you want, and you know, after a while, don't talk to them, then it's be worse. You understand me? Because they're growing through, going through a very difficult period of their life. The teenage period is the worst. <laughs> the worst. Because they grow too quick for their own understanding. You know, their body grows too quick. <laughs> they could uh, have hardly... Uh, the control of their body. That's why sometimes they break things or they bump into things a lot. You understand? Because of their body growing too quick. Yeah? Yeah, the teenagers, they break a lot of stuff <laughs> easily. Easier than when you grow older or younger. No? Because of their body. Really, I'm not kidding. They grow, their body grow fast and their, their brain has a difficult time to command. They're not used to it. Just like you have a new car. Do you understand me? New car, new instrument, take time. 
ya and then on top of that the bloody curse the hormone a raging in them you know make them feel oh they don't know what to do they're restless yeah so be understanding okay be helpful be friends and be guiding all right remember you were teenage once and so many things you don't understand why it happened why your body feel like that yeah and why you feel this way and why you want to do this why why you don't understand many things okay the same same your children like that yeah yeah i'm glad you know uh, she she she's good but how many teenagers can be so controlled and confident like that how many understand me yes so uh, i'm glad you're good kids i'm glad you're strong <laughs>